Good evening. You're now watching the latest news for November 30. The state government has approved 16 new projects for the Telang Usan constituency next year, which are worth 729 million ringgit. Telang Usan Assemblyman Dennis Ngao stated that the projects to be implemented under the Highland Development Agency, or HDA, included eight road projects, which cost 649 million ringgit, and eight water supply projects, which cost 80 million ringgit. He added that in addition, there is also the 50 million ringgit improvement of existing access roads to Dale Long Palulan or Long Miri Road, which include the construction of five steel bridges, improvement of existing internal roads, drainage and parking spaces, among others. He said this in his officiating speech at the launching ceremony of the Sarawak Alternative Rural Electrification Scheme, or SARES, project at Long Itam in Baram. He further said that all the projects which will be implemented in stages, with the biggest project being the Long Lama Bridge project. The election court has voided Barisan National's victory in the Cameron Highlands parliamentary seat in the 2014 general elections, paving the way for re-election after discovering elements of corruption. High Court, Appellate and Special Powers Justice Azizah Nawawi said the petitioner, DFP's M. Manogaran, had established beyond reasonable doubt that bribery was proven during the election. She said this in a statement in Kuala Lumpur. Justice Aziza was delivering her decision in the election petition filed by Manogaran, who challenged the GE14 result for the Cameron Highlands parliamentary seat. Manogaran has named MIC's Dato C. Sivaraja, who is the incumbent Cameron Highlands MP, as the respondent in the petition filed on January 4. The World Health Organization stated that Congo's deadly Ebola outbreak is now the second largest in history after the devastating West Africa outbreak that killed thousands between 2014 and 2016. WHO's emergency chief, Dr. Peter Salama, called it a sad toll as Congo's health ministry announced the number of cases had reached 426, which includes 379 confirmed cases and 47 probable ones. Congo's health ministry said that so far, the outbreak, which began on August 1, has 198 confirmed deaths, with another 47 most likely fatal cases. Salama predicted that the outbreak in northeastern Congo will last at least another six months before it can be contained. More than 37,000 people have received Ebola vaccinations, and Congo has begun the first ever trial to test the effectiveness and safety of four experimental Ebola drugs. That's all the latest news for today. I am Razi Ahmad. Thank you for watching.